in the distant land of some place, in the town of Etheria, there exists a legendary blacksmith. A blacksmith, rumor says, so talented he can forge a sword that can slay a dragon in a single strike. A blacksmith so strong and powerful he... Oh, look at him! Is this him? Oh, This is an arctic fox named Snow, the star of the furry comic The Blacksmith Shop. It follows the story of Snow, the owner of the Hammerheart Blacksmith Shop. Anyone and everyone that comes through his door looking for weapons or armor or what have you is overwhelmed by his cuteness. During the day, Snow does business with good customers like The Knight, who is honestly just there to shop, and shady customers like The Witch, who is just there to be around Snow because he's such an adorable little cinnamon roll. Just look at him. At night, Snow works the forge and gets all of his blacksmithing stuff done in the basement. When does he sleep? Good question. Moving on. Though, I gotta say, the little man is jacked under all that blacksmith attire and quite strong as he can lift things that larger men can't. It's hard to say if he's small but dense or already fully grown. He can't reach his own wares sometimes, so it can be hard to tell. We also have Regnar, a cougar with a scary face who, after a rejected love confession that cost him his position in an adventuring party, comes to reside as Snow's employee. Regnar sees how he is surrounded by beautiful women and even other men and begs him to teach him how to be attractive. Snow has no idea what he means by this, but hires him on, saying that maybe just being around him, something will happen. Ragnar does his best to court the customers that come into the shop and be a good salesman, but just comes across as scarier and scarier. He even tries the tongue blep that he's seen Snow do a few times, but it doesn't quite work with his scary face. <laughs> The poor guy can't win for losing, especially when it comes to women that he likes. And that's basically it. The slice of life, topic of the day strips sort of take over after the characters are established, occasionally dropping some backstory for flavoring. Other than that, this is a light, fluffy, and cute comic. It doesn't try for drama or deep lore or anything, and it doesn't try to be anything more than it is cute for the sake of being cute. It's a simple comic with a simple premise. The most interesting bit of side information that I could find is the existence of hybrids like the tailoring shop owner here. Notice that she's a human with cat ears. When Regnar takes Snow to get some new clothes when his blacksmithing outfit rips, we see that interbreeding with viable children is a thing. Nice. It looks like couplings between any of the furred characters are just as likely as between, say, humans and elves during a Dungeons and Dragons game. It's very sweet. And that's basically it. I don't want to spoil anything more since there's not a lot of pages yet, but this comic is rapidly growing in popularity, especially on Twitter and Webtoons, where the author North Wolf posts pages on a very regular basis. Given a choice between the two, I would say read it on Twitter, as there seems to be a lot of side art, extras, and other fun things to enjoy. If you're reading it on Webtoons, though, it's just as good, as all the pages are migrating there in a pretty orderly fashion. The art is good, the colors are bright, and this comic does what it does best, be cute, without muddling anything up in the process. There's a talent and a purity to it that I think everyone could enjoy. This comic feels like it's just getting started, and I am definitely on the hype train for this one. Check it out.